Good evening and thank you for joining us. I am Mike Tanzini. This is News Channel 34. An Endicott couple has been busted for allegedly running a meth lab in their north side apartment. On Sunday, the Endicott police, along with the New York State Police Contaminated Crime Scene Emergency Response Team, raided the second floor of 106 North McKinley Avenue. They arrested 37-year-old Donald House III and charged him with manufacturing methamphetamine and drug possession. And 24-year-old Tashia Corey was charged with drug possession and criminal nuisance. Police say they found meth-making materials as well as quantities of heroin and meth. Following the announcement to rehab Broome County's biggest blighted building, County Executive Jason Garnar is zeroing in on another vacant eyesore. Broome County has foreclosed on the former Endicott Johnson facility located at 1 North Page Avenue in West Endicott. However, Garnar says the previous owners, Alpine LLC, are appealing the foreclosure. Next month, the appeal will be heard in court. Then a decision would be rendered in two to three months. Garner says once the foreclosure process is complete, the county would look to demolish the building. He says it's been an issue plaguing West Endicott for decades. Conditions are so bad here on Underwood Road. The water's making its way right across the street. It's almost like a big stream here. There's large sticks, large stones, big tree limbs right here in the middle of the road. And with more rain in our forecast, conditions could get even worse. The snow has been falling consistently at a rate of four inches per hour. This has local DPW officials springing into action. And with spring coming up in just a few weeks, most residents feel like we're still stuck in the dead of winter. Although it was a lot of work, just seeing the smiles on the kids' faces made this day of service seem like a walk in the park. In Binghamton, Mike Tanzini, News Channel 34. <laughs> Poor Casper here has had a pretty rough life. When he was found in the town of Union, his ears were cut, which is usually a sign that he was used for dog fighting. Gamers grab two remotes, one for each hand, and while they do include buttons and triggers, the VR technology allows you to become the controller. Barbera is buried here at Calvary Cemetery in Johnson City. While his actual gravestone remains untouched, the family monument was vandalized in the late 1980s. As you can see, Jesus' arms were actually ripped off and dozens of other gravestones were defaced or destroyed. During the Pro-Am, our main responsibility is to show golfers where their balls have landed. But when the tournament begins, it's very important for marshals to make sure the gallery stays very, very quiet. On a Friday night, a cop car is probably not the place you want to find yourself. But that's exactly where I wanted to be to understand what it takes to keep crime out of our community. I strapped on my vest and we were out on the beat. Right, we're good to go. Right now we're gonna just go by, circle our post, make sure everything's good there, and see if we can't uh, try to find a traffic stop early in the night. It wasn't long before we were responding to the first call. 200 copies. Officer Josh Badoski got all of the necessary information and even some photographs before moving on to the next call. We were only on patrol for about an hour and we'd already responded to a handful of incidents. A lot busier tonight. Now, the not so fun part. 05 23 There is a lot more paperwork than you would think. Badoski has to fill out reports for each and every call. In the meantime, there's more action taking place. We stopped by a local nightclub just to keep an eye on the location. Badoski says he always wants to keep moving. I love my job. It's a great job. I love working nights. Before I knew it, we had made over seven stops in just a few hours, dealing with all kinds of people and situations. Move it along without fighting, please. Once the reports were written, it was time to head downtown. At the end of the night, a lot of young people were headed home, and Badoski wants to make sure they get back without incident. Just want to make the streets safe at night, especially for the SUNY kids that are, you know, walking back from the bars by themselves sometimes. It's nice to know that they have a, a police force that looks out for them. 4 a.m. rolled around, and I could barely keep my eyes open. I didn't get a weapon, I didn't get a badge, but what I did get was an eye-opening experience facing crime on the front lines. Reporting in Binghamton, Mike Tanzini, News Channel 34. 